What separates successful people from those who struggle to achieve their goals? According to Paul G's book Self-Confidence, The Remarkable Truth of How a Small Change Can Boost Your Resilience and Increase Your Success, the answer is self-confidence. In the introduction, Maji sets the stage by telling a story about a friend who lacked self-confidence and how it affected his life. He then explains that self-confidence is not just a nice-to-have attribute, but a crucial factor in achieving success in life. Maji argues that everyone has the potential to be self-confident, but it requires a shift in mindset and a willingness to step outside of one's comfort zone. The author presents his ideas in a conversational tone and uses relatable examples to illustrate his points. Maji challenges readers to examine their own self-confidence and provides practical strategies for building it. He emphasizes that small changes can make a big difference and encourages readers to take action. With its engaging writing style and actionable advice, self-confidence promises to be a valuable resource for anyone looking to boost their confidence and achieve their goals. Section 1. The Stuff You Need to Know Chapter 1. Why Self-Confidence is the X-Factor for Life In Chapter 1, Maji explains how self-confidence is an essential skill to have in life. He believes that it is not something that people are just born with, instead, it is something that can be developed over time. Maji defines self-confidence as the belief that you can do something well or succeed at something. He argues that people who have high levels of self-confidence are more likely to be successful in all areas of their lives, including their careers, relationships, and personal lives. Maji identifies four key benefits of having self-confidence. Firstly, it helps individuals to develop a positive mindset which is essential for overcoming obstacles and setbacks. Secondly, self-confidence helps people to communicate more effectively, allowing them to express their ideas and opinions clearly. Thirdly, self-confidence is linked to resilience, enabling people to bounce back from failures or rejections. Finally, self-confidence is associated with higher levels of motivation, leading to increased productivity and success. Maji acknowledges that developing self-confidence is not always easy, and many people struggle with it. However, he emphasizes that it is possible to build self-confidence through a range of techniques, including positive self-talk, visualization, and setting achievable goals. Chapter 2 – Taking the Con Out of Confidence in Chapter 2, Maji explores some of the common myths and misconceptions surrounding self-confidence. He argues that these beliefs can hold people back from achieving their full potential and need to be challenged. One of the most common myths about self-confidence is that it is something that people are born with. Maji disputes this, arguing that self-confidence is a skill that can be developed through practice and experience. He suggests that people who lack self-confidence should focus on developing their skills and expertise in a particular area which can increase their self-confidence. Another myth is that self-confidence is the same as arrogance. Maji explains that while arrogance is an overinflated sense of self-worth, self-confidence is a belief in one's abilities and strengths. He emphasizes that self-confidence is essential for success, whereas arrogance can be detrimental. Maji also challenges the belief that self-confidence is a constant state. He suggests that self-confidence can fluctuate depending on the situation and the individual's mindset. He encourages people to recognize that setbacks and failures are a natural part of the learning process and that they should not be discouraged by them. Overall, Chapter 2 highlights the importance of challenging negative beliefs and misconceptions about self-confidence. Maji suggests that by doing so, individuals can start to develop a more positive mindset and build their self-confidence. Chapter 3 – Who Shaped Your Confidence? Your Upbringing Chapter 3 explores the influence that upbringing can have on an individual's level of self-confidence. He argues that parents and caregivers play a crucial role in shaping children's self-confidence levels and can either nurture or inhibit their children's self-belief. Maji identifies several factors that can impact a child's self-confidence, including the way they are praised, the level of autonomy they are given, and the role models they have. For example, children who are praised for their effort and hard work rather than just their achievements are more likely to develop a growth mindset and a sense of self-efficacy. On the other hand, children who are criticized or constantly told what to do may struggle with decision-making and taking risks. Maji emphasizes that it is never too late to work on improving self-confidence even if one's upbringing was not ideal. He suggests that individuals can work on developing positive self-talk, setting achievable goals, and focusing on their strengths to build their self-confidence. Chapter 4 – Who Shaped Your Confidence? Other Influences In Chapter 4, Maji discusses the role that other external influences can have on an individual's self-confidence. He explains that factors such as cultural background, gender, 
and past experiences can all impact a person's level of self-confidence. For example, Maji highlights that some cultures may place a greater emphasis on humility and modesty, which can make it challenging for individuals to express their opinions and beliefs confidently. Similarly, he notes that women are often socialized to be more deferential and accommodating, which can lead to lower levels of self-confidence in certain situations. Maji also highlights the impact that past experiences, such as bullying or trauma, can have on self-confidence. He emphasizes that it is essential to work through these experiences and seek support if necessary to build resilience and boost self-confidence. Ultimately, Chapter 4 emphasizes that while external influences can impact self-confidence, it is possible to develop and strengthen one's sense of self-belief through intentional effort and practice. Maji suggests that individuals can work on building their self-confidence by seeking out positive role models, learning new skills, and challenging negative self-talk. Before we continue, we would like to inform you that we release these summaries in audio format on Spotify before we release them on YouTube in video format with subtitles. We have also created a gold mine of information which you can get exclusive access to by supporting us on Patreon. You get in-depth summaries plus scripts, usually twice the length of our YouTube content, a list of the top 20 key takeaways and exercises, summary requests, and more. Thank you for the support and don't forget to hit the like button. Section 2. The Stuff That Will Really Help Chapter 5. Will Really Help In Chapter 5, Maji discusses the importance of willpower in developing self-confidence. He argues that willpower is a key component of self-discipline and that individuals who can exercise self-control in one area of their lives are more likely to have the self-confidence to succeed in other areas. Maji identifies several strategies that individuals can use to boost their willpower, including setting specific goals breaking large tasks into smaller ones, and practicing mindfulness. He emphasizes that willpower is like a muscle and can be strengthened through regular exercise and practice. Maji also highlights the importance of self-compassion in developing willpower and self-confidence. He suggests that individuals who are too hard on themselves when they fail are less likely to succeed in the long run. Instead, he encourages people to treat themselves with kindness and understanding, recognizing that setbacks and failures are a natural part of the learning process. Chapter 6 – You'll get by with a little help from your friends In Chapter 6, Maji explores the role that social support can play in developing self-confidence. He argues that having a supportive network of family, friends, and colleagues can provide individuals with the encouragement and motivation they need to pursue their goals and overcome obstacles. Maji identifies several ways that social support can boost self-confidence, including providing emotional support during challenging times, offering constructive feedback and advice, and providing role models and mentors. He emphasizes that it is essential to surround oneself with positive, supportive people who believe in one's abilities and encourage one to succeed. Maji also acknowledges that some people may struggle to find social support or may have experienced negative relationships in the past. In these cases, he suggests that individuals can still build self-confidence confidence by seeking out positive role models, practicing self-compassion, and focusing on their strengths and achievements. Overall, Chapter 6 highlights the importance of social support in developing self-confidence and achieving success. Maji suggests that individuals can work on building their support network by reaching out to others, being open to feedback and advice, and cultivating positive relationships with those around them. Chapter 7 – How to Be Your Own Best Mate in Chapter 7, Maji discusses the importance of self-compassion in developing self-confidence. He argues that many individuals are too hard on themselves, which can undermine their confidence and lead to negative self-talk and self-doubt. Maji suggests that individuals can work on developing self-compassion by treating themselves with the same kindness and understanding that they would offer to a friend. He encourages people to recognize that setbacks and failures are a natural part of the learning process and to approach themselves with empathy and understanding. Maji also emphasizes the importance of self-care in building self-confidence. He suggests that individuals who take care of their physical, emotional, and mental health are more likely to have the resilience and self-belief to pursue their goals and overcome obstacles. Chapter 8 – How to Shine When Your Neck's on the Line Chapter 8 explores the challenges of maintaining self-confidence in high-pressure situations, such as job interviews or public speaking engagements. Maji argues that self-confidence is particularly crucial in these situations, as individuals who can remain calm and composed are more likely to perform well. Maji suggests several strategies for maintaining self-confidence in high-pressure situations. Firstly, he encourages individuals to prepare thoroughly, whether it be practicing their speech or researching the company they are interviewing for. He suggests that preparation can help individuals feel more confident and in control. 
Naji also suggests focusing on breathing and relaxation techniques to help manage anxiety and stress in high-pressure situations. He encourages individuals to take a few deep breaths and to focus on the present moment to help reduce feelings of nervousness. Finally, Maji emphasizes the importance of reframing negative thoughts and self-talk in high-pressure situations. He encourages individuals to challenge negative beliefs and to focus on their strengths and achievements to build self-confidence. Overall, Chapter 8 provides valuable insights into maintaining self-confidence in high-pressure situations. Maji suggests that individuals can work on developing self-confidence in these situations by preparing thoroughly, managing stress and anxiety, and focusing on positive self-talk. Chapter 9 – Here's How to Ramp Up Your Resilience In Chapter 9, Maji discusses the importance of resilience in developing self-confidence. He argues that resilience, or the ability to bounce back from setbacks and challenges, is a key component of self-confidence and is essential for achieving success. Maji identifies several strategies that individuals can use to build their resilience, including reframing negative thoughts, setting achievable goals, and focusing on the present moment. He emphasizes that building resilience is a process, and that individuals may need to work on developing new habits and mindsets to strengthen their ability to bounce back from adversity. Maji also highlights the importance of self-care in developing resilience. He suggests that individuals who prioritize their physical, emotional, and mental health are more likely to have the resilience and self-confidence to overcome challenges. Chapter 10 – How to Handle Conflict Confidently In Chapter 10, Maji discusses the challenges of handling conflict confidently. He argues that conflict is an inevitable part of life and that individuals who can manage conflict effectively are more likely to have the self-confidence and resilience to succeed. Maji suggests several strategies for handling conflict confidently, including active listening, seeking to understand the other person's perspective, and staying calm and composed. He emphasizes that individuals who can remain calm in the face of conflict are more likely to find solutions and resolve conflicts effectively. Maji also suggests that individuals can work on developing their conflict management skills by practicing assertiveness and communication techniques. He encourages individuals to be clear and direct in their communication and to use I statements to express their feelings and needs. Overall, Chapter 10 provides valuable insights into handling conflict confidently. Maji suggests that individuals can work on developing their conflict management skills by practicing active listening, staying calm and composed, and using assertiveness and communication techniques. Chapter 11, Have You Got the Confidence to Go Mad? In Chapter 11, Maji introduces the concept of going mad as a way to boost self-confidence and achieve success. He explains that mad stands for making a difference and suggests that individuals who focus on making a positive difference in the world are more likely to have the self-confidence and motivation to pursue their goals. Maji suggests several strategies for going mad including setting meaningful goals, taking action towards making a difference, and focusing on gratitude and positivity. He emphasizes that individuals who can find meaning and purpose in their lives are more likely to have the resilience and self-confidence to overcome challenges. Maji also encourages individuals to take responsibility for their own success and to adopt a growth mindset. He suggests that individuals who view challenges as opportunities for growth are more likely to have the self-belief and determination to succeed. Chapter 12, A Little Extra to Take You Further Chapter 12 provides a summary of the key concepts and strategies discussed throughout the book. Maji emphasizes the importance of taking small steps towards building self-confidence and resilience, rather than expecting overnight success. Maji encourages individuals to focus on their strengths and to recognize that setbacks and failures are a natural part of the learning process. He suggests that individuals who can learn from their mistakes and remain resilient in the face of adversity are more likely to achieve success and happiness. Maji also suggests several practical strategies for building self-confidence, including practicing self-compassion, reframing negative thoughts, and seeking support from friends and loved ones. He emphasizes that self-confidence is a process that requires ongoing effort and commitment but that the rewards of increased self-belief and resilience are well worth the effort. Overall, Chapter 12 provides a valuable summary of the key concepts and strategies discussed throughout self-confidence. Maji encourages individuals to take small steps towards building self-confidence and resilience and suggests practical strategies for achieving success and happiness. Chapter 13 – How It Worked For Me Chapter 13 is a personal reflection from author Maji on his own journey towards building self-confidence and resilience. He shares his own experiences of facing setbacks and challenges throughout his life and how he learned to overcome them. Maji emphasizes the importance of taking small steps towards building self-confidence. 
such as setting small goals and taking action towards achieving them. He also encourages individuals to adopt a growth mindset and to view challenges as opportunities for growth and learning. Throughout the chapter, Maji shares several practical strategies that have helped him to build self-confidence, including practicing gratitude, focusing on his strengths, and seeking support from friends and loved ones. He also emphasizes the importance of self-compassion and learning to be kind to oneself, even in the face of failure. Overall, Chapter 13 provides a valuable insight into the personal experiences and reflections of the author, Maji, and how he has applied the principles of self-confidence and resilience to his own life. It serves as a reminder that building self-confidence is a lifelong journey that requires ongoing effort and commitment, but that the rewards of increased self-belief and resilience are well worth the effort. Conclusion The Journey Towards Self-Confidence In the conclusion of self-confidence, Maji emphasizes that building self-confidence is not an overnight process, but a journey that requires ongoing effort and commitment. He highlights the importance of taking small steps towards building self-confidence and resilience and of adopting a growth mindset that views challenges as opportunities for growth and learning. Maji reminds readers that self-confidence is not about being perfect or never making mistakes, but about having the courage to try new things and to persevere in the face of setbacks. He also emphasizes that self-confidence is not a fixed trait, but something that can be developed and strengthened over time. Throughout the book, Maji has provided practical strategies and tips for building self-confidence, including developing a positive mindset, setting goals, seeking support from others, and learning to be kind to oneself. He concludes by encouraging readers to take action towards building their own self-confidence and resilience, and to embrace the journey towards becoming their best selves. Overall, self-confidence is a valuable resource for anyone looking to boost their self-belief and resilience, whether in their personal or professional lives. It provides practical strategies and insights for overcoming self-doubt and building the confidence needed to achieve one's goals and dreams.